Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Stacy, and tonight we are going to do a little mixed media colored pencil piece. Sorry, I'm moving my my mic around. I was doing a <clears throat> a voiceover on the last video for you guys. Tonight I have out all of my colored pencils that I have, my metallic castle art pencils, all of my Prisma colored color pencils, some of my Holbein ones are in here, there's a couple Derwent's, there's a blender right here, um, and then on this side, it, that's Prisma color, on this side is my other set of 72 castle art colored pencils. So um, these are the pencils that I used to create these little pieces, and um, I really wanted to show you guys these real quick because I'm really happy with how they turned out. And um, tonight we're going to uh, color in one together. So here's the last one that I did. It is a, let's focus on what I need you to focus on. There we go. A little egg corn on a branch. I This is the last one I did. I put in some leaves. I'm kind of regretting that because... I'm going to make this into a little sticker, part of a sticker pack is what all of these are for. So there's my little green egg corn and colored pencil. I think he turned out super cool. I'm very happy with him. And these are all on Bristol paper. I had some scrap Bristol paper left over that I wanted to use up. And uh, I'm practicing my colored pencil techniques on these. This is a little... Um, pumpkin with a super swirly vine and very a little bit you know magical looking was my thought that's one of them and then I did a little green and green and orange pumpkin with swirly swirly little tendrils on it still I love how this turned out I would have liked to get this more orange but the paper wouldn't take any more layers of colored pencil so um I'm you know kind of leave it as is by choice or by you know providence but overall I really like how he turned out uh, pretty pleased with him and then I have my my other little egg corn I need to clean up around around his edges he got a little smudged but my little brown egg corn I think he turned out so cool I am so loving colored pencils you guys I got quite a few layers on this guy with the um all the different colored pencils and then there's this pumpkin which I love the angle of it and that you can see all of the all of the swirls on the uh, stem there yeah I really dig that and all the textures I'm loving the textures and then tonight part of the sticker pack is going to be um, all of these and this guy this little guy he's going to be the one we're coloring in tonight and my hold on let me grab my my painting that I did in a previous video um, I go ahead and uh, package up the, the the ones that I'm I was gonna I'm doing a craft sale so I'm gonna take this original to the craft event but uh, I did this piece in a previous video if you guys saw it's a colored pencil piece with a watercolor background love how it turned out so much that I made a sticker <laughs> and then once the sticker was made um, I kind of made the sticker a little more vibrant in Photoshop and uh, the the stem I'm also making prints of this guy so to put up in the shop and to bring to the craft event but I thought I wanted to make him into a sticker pack and all of these along with this guy are going to be well, these guys are going to be in different sizes of course I'm going to put them in Photoshop and size them and give them a little white border uh, and yeah and make a little autumn pumpkin sticker pack or sticker sheet I haven't decided yet if I want to downsize this guy or leave him the same size and then make you know add other smaller stickers to the pack but um, for tonight we're gonna go ahead and, and color in this little dude I thought he would be a wonderful addition to the collection um, I didn't video any of these which is why I wanted to show you guys what what is in my mind um, 
and why I'm creating all these. I did all of those other little ones with uh, while watching TV and um, I have debris all over the table because I was futzing about. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and zoom in so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'll put the colored pencils that I'm using over here. We'll get, get our little acorns up here out of the way. There we go. And I need to pop up my mouse reference photos. Hold on one little second. I take a jiffy. Probably should do it on my phone. Nah, it's fine. We'll do it on here. It'll be all right. Um, fall harvest, I think is my, yeah, there he is. Okay. And he has just a cute little mouse dude. Not, you know, nothing fancy schmancy about him. I, uh, I get to zoom out a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start with, I kind of want him to, like, be the little brother of this little dude. I might snip him out of there in Photoshop and make him a little separate sticker too, a little little field mouse sticker to go with all of our pumpkins and acorns. And that's what he's gonna be, is a little, he's a little field mouse. And uh, we're gonna make him a teensy sticker to go with all of our, um, I'm having a hard time picking a color here. Where is that? Oh, there you are. This is a fantastic orange, by the way. It is in the um, Castle Art Metallic set. It's dragon orange. If anybody knows of a color that is similar to this one um, in another brand, let me, because I don't think Castle Art sells their pencils um, open stock, but I would love to get more of this color. This, this color I'm using up with all my autumn stuff. Um, kind of quickly, actually. Oh, that sharpener is kind of, I gotta throw that one away or get a new blade or something for it. I should have grabbed my Faber-Castell sharpener that's in the other room. Normally my colored pencils are out in the living room. Um, cause I usually do these little, these little pieces, um, while I'm watching TV shows or listening. Right now I'm watching, um, Mike and Molly for the first time ever. Uh, and, uh, really enjoying it. And while I was watching that, I was working on, um, some of those little pieces that I just showed you. And then I was going to try to be mindful of the camera shake. I'm going to get a new drawing board because the table does shimmy quite a lot. And I noticed that in one of my videos previously. I'm really sorry about that. I'm trying to be mindful of it right now so that I don't do, cause a lot of camera shake. Um, <clears throat> sorry, while well, working on this little dude. Uh, this is Bristol paper too, and it doesn't take a lot of layers, so I'm kind of going to just um, work in soft, light layers with uh, kind of not a lot of pressure. Um, it's very smooth. Bristol paper, if you don't know, is pretty smooth in texture, and it doesn't really take a lot of... Um, like a lot, a lot of layers. I mean, for like pumpkins, it took kind of, kind of a lot of layers, but um, just in the interest of not causing camera shake, I'm going to try not to press too hard while I'm working on this. I have a drawing board that I'm going to buy on payday, and I'm going to move my sturdier table over here and put this one over there. Um, I can use this one for other artworks. Um, like pastels and whatnot that I want to do and just shift the camera over onto the, that table if I need to. Um, and just give myself a sturdier surface to work on because I am going to do more colored pencil pieces in the future. I know I am and I don't want to um, subconsciously limit myself because I know I'm causing camera shake while, while I'm pressing hard on different surfaces. 
I'm going to do the side of this. And what I'm, I'm doing right now is dropping in some local color. I wasn't going to do this one um, real time. I was going to time lapse it and do a little voiceover. Because um, I'm also working on my Inktober stuff. I am doing the Inktober challenge this year again. And uh, trying to get videos done early. It's September. What is the date today? I actually don't know. The 26th. Um, I, I wanted to get these these particular sticker packs done and my um, I can see my my light shimmying over there. <laughs> I wanted to get these this sticker pack done. These little guys. I might make him if he turns out cute. I might make him into his own little little three inch sticker as well. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in that um, going up in my shop as well keep talking about my shop update and I keep putting it off and putting it off. I'm really sorry about that if anyone's interested in that. Um, I did take a bunch of reference photos this weekend. They are they are in the phone. They're in here. I just have to upload them onto my computer and do the stinking video or do the ads and get them caught up. Like get my website uh, words are hard right now. I'm going to pull out this red that I like. What other colors was I using? I think I was, oh, I was using this golden, gold, Vegas yellow. Was that the one? I don't think that was the one I grabbed before. Yeah, this was the one I had before. The melange. The Vegas Yellow is a really good one, obviously. I've used it uh, quite a bit. It's quite a bit shorter than my other pencils. But for cohesiveness with the, the other pieces, um, let's, let's set, set these guys where we can see them. Because I did actually want to leave them out so that I could reference what colors I used in these guys. And so that he, you know, fits in with the, the scheme of things. Um, well there, I had one of my metallic greens out too, but I don't think we really need green on him. How about we use, see color picking, it, it's a difficult thing. I have several pencils out of here, they're in this tray, and if I remember to put them back in here I could use them, right? Because this is the tray of pencils that I'm using for my big mermaid piece that's not completed. And um, I don't want to forget the colors that I'm using in that. Maybe I won't touch those. I have to put my turtles in fish in that big piece still, and I haven't done it yet. Um, ooh, this, this little... Maybe this one? What are it? Peach? This little peach for his little paws? and nose area. Mm. This teensy little little nose area. Okay. And then Ooh, my tummy. I'm really hungry right now. It's super late and I shouldn't be eating anything this late. I want a soft pink. Maybe this... That's also peach. Ooh, maybe this guy. Look how, look how light that is. This does not have a color name on it. But it has a 328 on the barrel. Oh. I'll use that to kind of soften up around that nose and these little these little fingers of his his teensy little fingers they actually do have little little hands they that's um both creepy and um cute at the same time I don't really care for um 
rodents like in the house. My son has a hamster right now for a pet. He prefers rats. He, he just loves them. He thinks they're amazing. Um, well, from what he says, they make excellent pets. I just have never, I mean, we had hamsters. We had a hamster when the children were small, Lulu. Um, and she bit me a lot. I ended up giving her to my co-worker's daughter who took her to college with her and Lulu became the college mascot hamster. She was their pocket hamster. They took The girls took turns taking her to classes and yeah, she had quite the little life. I think it's funny. Yeah. But yeah, she didn't like me at all. But once again, uh, animals can sense when you're not really, you know, into them. Not that she was terrible. I just didn't want to have a rodent for a pet. Gave in. I gave in as a mom. Let the children have their way. We had, we went to the pet store one day because we did that fairly regularly to pet the animals. And, you know, it was a very nice pet store in town um, up in Lake Stevens in Washington. Uh, it's where we lived when they were little. And they had this beautiful pet store, like a high-end pet store. And they had really um, nice selection of animals and their cages were always clean and kind of big and it was a very fancy store. Um, but yeah, I went in there one day and came out with a, pan a hamster, a bird, and fish, and a fish tank, and all the fishy stuff that you could possibly need. A bird cage and all the bird stuff, the hamster cage and all the hamster stuff. <laughs> I, I, I left there with a, a, a little collection of, um, of animals to have in the house, and we got them all set up in, in the kids' bedrooms, and then they went back to their dad's for the weekend, for like the rest of the weekend. Um, they left on Sunday. So there I was, the proud mama of critters. Not remembering that the children, um, you know, they we split time pretty evenly with between the uh, dad time and mom time. Very amicable situation and uh, yeah. So I had pets. <laughs> oh, all the things parents do, right? But, uh, yeah, we ended up giving the bird to my neighbor who loved birds because, you know, a 12-year-old girl loses interest in that kind of pet pretty quickly and... My neighbor lady loved birds. She used to take that bird outside and put it in the grass and let it run around and fly around her house. She loved that thing. Um, I've never been one for a bird to fly around my home. I mean, to each their own, you know. You do what you gotta do. If you love your bird and you wanna let them do that, that is your business. And I don't mind. I just am not, you know, not for me. It's just not for me. And uh, learned that pretty quickly. Let's do a little. This is kind of an orangey color, but that's all right. I don't mind it. Get a little shadowing in. I'm wiggling the table too much. I can feel it. Is the camera shaking? Probably. I'm going to edit this and be like, dang it! Did it again. Got vigorous. Got carried away with story time. What a, what a... Well, I mean, I wasn't a bad pet person. I just um, know my limits. So, never again will I have a, a, a mouse-type critter for a pet. Especially now that I don't have tiny children at home to, you know, finagle me into making poor life choices. And, uh, I just want a dog. 
And then even at that, I don't even know if I really want a dog. I, I think I just want company, you know? <laughs> I love having a pet. I, I like having the idea of having a pet, but then I get one and I'm like, oh man, what, I, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Because I had my mom's kittens that I got her here for quite a while and man, you forget how much, it's kind of like toddlers, you forget how much energy they have and how destructive they are and kittens are terrible. To have like loose on your leather chair, my, my, my leather office chair that I'm sitting in right now is pretty destroyed. Well, it's not destroyed. It's just, you know, got little divots all over in it because of them climbing on it. Um, so that kind of cured me of wanting a cat. Um, at least a kitten. I, I don't know that I'd mind having a full grown older cat in the house. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I'm going to do a little light pink right here. I don't want him to be... I feel like I need a brown. Let's see, what do I got going on on here? I know that golden color is pretty nice. This, this one I think I used... Yeah, that'll work. Or you guys must think I'm terrible. I don't, I just... You know, know your limits, right? Don't become a pet parent if you don't really, really want to, because it is a lifelong choice. I mean, dogs live to be 15, 20 years old, depending on the breed, and, you know, my dog would be an inside dog, because dogs are people, too. <laughs> I've been thinking about getting a mini schnauzer again, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know. They're good little dogs. They're just yappy when, when, at noises and stuff. Sassy was a yapper. She barked at everything. And they're naturally talkers. Mini schnauzers are, they, they're growly talkers. And they're not necessarily growling at you. They're just talkers. Um, which I think is hilarious, but uh, kind of puts off other people when she doesn't stop and you're trying to have a conversation. Does she look good? His little ears are cute. My battery is flat. I might as well change that now, huh? Hold on. Let's pause. There we go. Stop wiggling. Please? Um, Mom and I saw kind of a, quite a few um, fur babies at the craft fair this this past week, and um, was it last Saturday? Yeah, it was last Saturday that we did the craft fair. Did pretty good for a being canceled event. Got all the way there and it was canceled, and a bunch of us decided, well, we're already here. Like, we're, why don't we just set up? So we did. Um, made some money, which was nice. But uh, there were a bunch of fur babies. Cutie little fur babies. There was this one teensy little fluffy white puppy. It was a poodle mix of some kind. One of the, the newer poodle mixes. She was just the sweetest little happy hoppy little thing. Just makes you yearn. Kind of like when you have baby fever, which I don't have anymore because I'm almost 52 years old and the last thing I need is another baby. Um, I can, I, I'm in the grandparent phase of my life. I'm going to enjoy my grandbabies. Um, but you know, when you're, you're in that phase of life and you see a baby and you're just like, oh, I want one of my own. Puppies. I'm, I'm in that phase with puppies and dogs at this point in my life. I see a puppy dog and I'm like, oh, I want one. 
There's a Labradoodle that lives here in the in the apartment complex that is just too cute for words. Goofy, happy little thing. You know, it's it's a young puppy. You can tell by the behaviors that it's just a youngster. How are we liking how he's turning out so far? Are we digging him or not really? I'm kind of digging him. I gotta get his eyes in, I think, and that'll make him a little more cute. Maybe a little bit of golden color on him too to kind of brighten him up a bit. Maybe some yellow. Oh, has a little tummy fur down here underneath that paw. It's kind of I'm well, actually not really paying much attention to the reference photos that I have popped up. I'm just doing what I want uh, based off my uh, other drawings and my mood. My mood! This golden, oh, this golden, yeah, golden rod. I use this kind of a lot. Give it a quick sharpen. Not with that pencil sharpener. I keep forgetting that it's not very sharp. And I left my good sharpener out in the living room. It's okay though. We'll be alright. Nobody panic. There we go. Okay. Let's put in a little bit of... Ooh! Tip broke off. A little bit of gold in those light areas. <sighs> Are you supposed to blow on your colored pencils? I don't think it hurts anything. I know it's a rule for um, pastels, but I don't think it really hurts anything for colored pencils. It's not like kicking up a lot of dust or anything. I don't care for how tall that hair is getting. I need a different eraser. Maybe this eraser. Yeah, there we go. a little better. A little carried away with my upward strokes. How many of you guys have fur babies out there? Or if you if you could get a fur baby, what would you get? Like what would, what would you be your ideal? Because I know my mom would be um, a golden retriever. She loves big dogs and goldens are her favorite. She's had a couple. She and daddy had uh, a big guy when I didn't, I didn't know him very well. I lived in Washington at the time, but uh, she had him for 15 years. Daddy was the, the, he got him, my dad got them, that particular dog as a pup. Cause daddy loved puppy dogs. And I have this really good picture of my dad just bear hugging these two very fluffy, fluffy golden retriever puppies. Um, it's a great picture of him walking out of the bathroom with this big cheesy grin on his face. My big 6'4 tall dad. Um, big old cheesy grin holding, holding two fat puppy dogs. Just happy as could be. One was for my sister and one was for them. Sandy, my mom, my sister named her Sandy. What did mom name her dog? I'm, I am not remembering his name. He was a sweetie pie too. Mom's dogs were big bears of dogs too.
If I had property, I'd have a big dog. I'd have a, um, what would I have? Probably a rescue dog, honestly. If I stay, if I worked from home permanently and had a piece of property like I want, I would, I would have a couple rescue dogs, probably a couple rescue cats too. Um, just because I, you know, I'd be home all the time, so why not? If that's what makes you happy, right? Doing life what makes you happy, you know, so long as you're not hurting others. I'm kind of digging his coloring. A little peachy, pink, golden thing going on right now. Is anybody else liking his little bit of coloring that is going on? I did. I did um, get sassy from a breeder because I wanted a. I lived in an apartment with little kids, and I wanted a dog that didn't um, shed too much. It's a big factor when you have little kids and you don't want to vacuum all the time. I mean, it's bad enough, you know, right? Regular life in a little apartment with kids and a dog. Sass was perfect for us, too. She was about the size of a teacup dog when we got her. She was so teensy she could sit on my shoulder when I was driving. She was a good dog. She lived to be 14. Just carry that gold down into the into the shadowy areas of the little hands. Maybe maybe this shadowy area can be kinda dirty golden color. Do we like that? Maybe we'll blend it out with the blender a little bit. Because their fur color kind of tends to, I mean, they're no, not all white or, I mean, unless they're like albino, but these are little field mice. Field mice tend to be goldens and, um, browns in color. Even their little tummies are pretty, you know, not all one tone or anything like that. Plus, you know, artist license. Do what I want. There. I don't like that stark white. It's bugging me. I'll do a little white. A bit like that. And then what are we going to do for the eyes? <sighs> what is this? Direct chrom chroma flow. Bol oh, that's charcoal pencil. Better not do that. I'll do this black one right here. Ivory black in my castle art pencil. Whoops. Flip that guy right over. Got aggressive. That bigger sharpener is really good too, the bigger one in here, but um it's got a piece of lead wedged in it. <laughs> and I need to get a sharp implement out and get that out of there. Go ahead and sharpen this up real quick. Aw, we're not. Come on. Don't you want to sharpen for me? Do I have a different color I can use in place of the black? I do. I know I do. There we go. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Give her her little... I have no idea if this is a girl mouse or a boy mouse. You guys decide. Maybe it's a girl. I'm giving her lashes. It's a little girl mouse. Oh. Yeah, 
is that too much? The tip broke off. Too much eye shine? I can't tell. We'll get the other eye in and then we'll decide. So I think my conversation was a little all over the place tonight. Sorry about that. Um, if that bothered anybody. Oh my gosh. That's cute. Oh, what a shadow right here. Are we done? Oh my gosh. Let's get a close up and uh, then I'll know for sure. Are we finished with our teensy little mouse creature? I think so. I really dig her. Maybe that's her name. Digger. Girls can have boy names. She's a saucy one, a rebel. I feel like I need a little There we go, that's better. All right, I, I like her. I think she kind of fits in with the, with the scheme, right? Switch over guys. Right? Yeah, she fits in nicely. Cute little light colored mouse creature to go with our little pumpkins and acorns, right? There's our acorns, our pumpkins, and the mouse. Yeah, I'm digging it. Super excited. Alright, let's zoom out so you can see all the pieces that are going to be in the set, plus this guy. Yeah, I think that'll make a nice little set of stickers. Or, or the print, the prints are going to be for sale as well. If anyone's interested, just uh, hit me up in the in messengers. But yeah, there's our video of our little teensy mouse colored in and our little set of stuff that I'm going to create. Very excited. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh, you know, thumbs up and all that business. It's highly appreciated, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!